Hi folks, Harry Mountain here with Marine Max Vacations on this beautiful sunny day in Florida. And uh, today we're going to do a walkthrough of the amazing, the stunning Marie Max Vacations 545. As you can see right away, I mean, just, a, just a, an absolutely stunning boat. Um, look at these, these beautiful, beautiful lines. And you can charter this down in the down in the islands that's why we're doing these videos this is a, a boat you can charter just a couple of observations as we walk back look at the size of the hulls look how look how tall these are so as you see later on in the videos that's uh, going to give us a huge amount of room down below and look at the amount of windows everywhere so what does that do just a huge amount of natural light in the boat which of course is very important as well so as a lot of you will be um, um, aware um, Remax Vacation started out with the uh, successful uh, 484 and then they got the, uh, the, uh, the 44 and so this is the, uh, the, the next generation, the evolution and uh, a lot of the DNA from the 44 has been carried across into this 545 and it's called a Marine Max 545 because it's got it's 54 feet in length and it's got five cabins but as you will see I mean they really you know um, a lot of you will know the boat is an Aquila uh, built by Sino Eagle and uh, they're really up their game in terms of just the, 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 the feel and the uh, design features and, and, the, uh, and, and the quality. I mean, this now really is a, uh, a, true, a true yacht. So excited to show you on board. We're going to go through all the cabins and open everything up. Just remember, this is an active charter boat. It's heading down to the islands. So when we open cupboards up, you are going to see some bits and pieces in cupboards, but all part of the fun. So as I walk down the boat, you know, 54 feet again, look at the these beautiful beautiful large windows um, she just really is a gorgeous gorgeous yacht huge amount of room on board obviously it's a catamaran what do you expect so uh, let's hop on board and uh, we will uh, take a look and we'll show you around let's go come on board the all-important bar area and Aquila have done a really nice job um, you're gonna find that a lot of or quite a bit of the the, 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 the DNA of the um, the 44, the successful Aquila 44, has been brought across into this uh, new 54, and uh, um, you'll notice some you know similar similar features. The bar being one. I mean, this is such a, a popular feature on the on the on the 444, and here we have it on the uh, the 545. Um, what I also like about this area is is just the sociability factor. Whether you are sitting back here in this beautiful sitting area or whether you're back at the bar with that famous painkiller or whether you're actually working at this beautiful galley here it's sociable everybody's together you can converse you can you can be all together and and, and keep the conversation going and that's a big theme throughout the boat so it just really is, you know, very well thought out. And uh, what I like to say, it's, it's, it's very, very sociable. So just coming back out here, as you can see, you've got a huge, huge, long table. Um, boats rated to charter for, for 10, 10 packs. Um, so there's enough seating to get 10 round here. There are a couple of director's chairs that can be put here as well to add additional seating. But you'll find that uh, you know huge amount of room, also nice amount of height uh, to the uh, to the top here, and plenty of plenty of room to uh, to move around. Now, I mentioned uh, storage in the um, in the intro, and uh, there is a lot of a lot of storage on the boat. Um, and we'll open it up and just give you a quick look. But this area here, nice big storage area in there you can see we've got the secondary anchor in there but uh, just demonstrates how much uh, how much room there is there that'd be good to put lines in there you could pop a, a fender in there so that's the the basic uh, um, cockpit area at the um, the aft of the boat so i'm going to move inside now Okay, folks, so here we are stepping into the, uh, the amazing galley and salon. I mean, look at this. I mean, how stunning is this? Look at the amount of room you've got. 
So let's start over here in the galley and have a look around. What have we got? Well, first of all, look at all this countertop space. That's a huge amount of countertop space all the way around here. What I love about the design as well is how social it is, whether you're sitting at the bar or you're working in the galley or you're in the salon, everybody's together. So no one's in separate zones. It's so open plan and, and, and sociable. Nice, big, big sink area here. Big faucet. Coming across into this area, I like what they've done here. You've got your microwave here. And that gets hidden behind that when you're not using it. Lots of great locker space, as we always talk about. You can never have enough locker space, but also look how, look how deep these are. They're really nice and deep, so plenty of room to get the, the charter groceries and everything you need up in this great storage area. Love this sort of big, big deep recess in here as well. Um, great place to obviously the important coffee maker. You've got your toaster and the all important, the most important part of the ship's equipment, the blender. Those cocktails going. That's all standard on the, uh, on the vacations boats. But again, a really good safe area to, uh, to keep appliances. Beautiful big um, full burner induction stove if you're going to be cooking. So, uh, you know, that's, uh, that's, that's beautiful. And then looking down here, We've got plenty of drawer space, cutlery. And up through here, see with our glasses and everything again, you know, just demonstrating, look how deep these cupboards are. It's really well thought out. Plenty of locker space in here. And then we've got a couple of trash cans in here, one that slides out, it's nice and useful. And another smaller one right beside it. So that's where the, uh, the trash is going to be. And then two more big, big, big areas storage here. So you can see plenty of space. Now coming over here, I love this island, you know, little island area. Again, another great, you know, surface area to prepare the drinks and, 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 and whatever. Um, great place in here also. Look at this, this where you can uh, put your, uh, your wines and uh, stow everything neatly and safely in there. So designated wine. And then another really nice set of lockers there as well. So as you can see, just in this part of the galley alone, you've got a huge amount of, um, a huge amount of space. Just moving over here, obviously very, very important. <laughs> Look at these fridges. I mean, fridge, freezer. And we all know how important these are. But just take a look at this. I mean, that's a really decent size fridge. You're going to be fine for the, uh, the length of your charter. And then right underneath here, just let me show you, it's got all these that slide out for your veggies, you know, just basically what you find in your, in, in your home these days. And then underneath here, great freezer. Look at that nice big freezer again pull out trays for anything else you want to put in there. So um, done a great job in just getting a really decent, decent refrigerator and freezer on the boat. More cupboard space here. As I said, this is a boat that's actually going to be heading down to the islands to, um, to charter. So you're seeing equipment in there um, getting ready for the, uh, for the trip. And we've got another little area down here as well. So moving into this section, so what we've got going on here really is the main distribution panel. So that's where you've got all your, your switches and, and, and everything you're going to be operating. Um, obviously you'll get a, a full briefing on those when you're, uh, when you're down in the islands. Um, your poor, all important stereo system, VHF, uh, water maker. So that's really the, the distribution panel right there. And the boat also has uh, sea zone as well. So you can control everything from this uh, this uh, sea zone um, area here. Another nice surface area just for storage. Another big drawer in here, look at that, plenty of room. So again, a lot of room. Now, as I move forward, I'm now obviously into the main salon area. And again, look at this. I mean, this is what I'm talking about. This is where Aquila, Sino Eagle, Marine Max Vacations, they've They've really um, 
taken us to the next level. And uh, and, and and this is a it's a it's it's a power yacht you're on. Um, and I just think as you look around and see the the fittings and the furnishings, you can see what I'm talking about. First thing I wanted to mention is just the amount of natural light coming in here. I mean, look at these um, beautiful big windows. And I'm guesstimating they're sort of three plus feet high, but it gives you a huge amount of natural light. So that's obviously very important. And as you're sitting in this beautiful, comfy salon in the islands, just think of the view you're gonna get out with these big windows, looking at those beautiful islands as well. Love the fact they've also got this um, forward uh, window area now. And as you can see, there's also four opening ports. So if you haven't got the air conditioning on, you wanna get some of those beautiful trade winds through, uh, get some more natural ventilation, four of those open up. But it gives the boat a really nice feel, as I say, great views, but also just the amount of uh, sort of natural light coming in here as well. Storage, once again, good storage. So we've got what we call the, uh, the bench seat over here. Um, beautiful and comfy to sit on, as you can see. Great place to relax. But underneath here, you've got uh, two storage compartments. That gives you more storage to tuck stuff away. I also like the way that this has been thought through as well. And you've got these little fiddles here, but what it does is it makes it a safe area for you to lay stuff down, whether it's books or phones or, or whatever. It gives you a whole other area. Uh, where everything's nice and easy to uh, reach, yet it's it's safe. It's not gonna it's not gonna it's not gonna fly off the um, the end. So well thought out there. Over on this side, we've got this beautiful wraparound settee. I mean, look at the size of this. I mean, easily enough room for 10 or 12 12 people. Super comfy to sit on. Great views. Um, more storage underneath here as well. So uh, more storage options there. Um, and this beautiful table as well. You've got four table leaves here. I'll just demonstrate one for you that folds out. So as you can see, when all these be folded out, that gives you more than enough room for your 10 or, or, or 12 people, however many people you've got on the boat. So great job on that. I also like here as well, check this out. You've got a good deep storage area underneath the floorboard here. So what a great place to store your, your waters or some more of your adult beverages. And you've got exactly the same just forward here as well. So two really big areas underneath the, uh, the floor there. You'd never have enough storage. Lighting, look at the, uh, look at the lighting. Um, done a really nice job with this where you've got this nice strip lighting. Um, you've got the ceiling lighting everywhere. So at nighttime, it's, uh, the boat's well lit up. And I love some of the ambience lighting as well. Um, you know, that's going to be really pleasant, sort of this subtle mood lighting underneath paneling. So at night time, the boat's got a really, really nice feel to it. And also in addition, there's some other courtesy lights um, down here underneath the, uh, the table. So that just helps illuminate everything. Um, and you can walk about the, the boat, the boat very safely. So I just think it's a, it's a beautiful environment that's being created here. It shows the evolution, you know, 48, 44, and now 54, and um, just taking the, uh, you know, the charter game to a whole new, whole new standard. Okay, folks, so here we are in the, uh, the forward stateroom. And um, this was something that was very successful on the, uh, the Aquila 44, and it's been brought across to the, uh, the Aquila 54, Remax Vacations 545. And as you can see, this huge, huge master stateroom up forward, um, pretty much taking the entire beam of, of the boat. So it just gives you this wonderful, wonderful stateroom. Uh, king size bed, obviously. Um, so uh, uh, very easy also to, to get into bed. You're not having to climb on the end of the bed. You can come around and easily get in from the side of the bed. You can see also that again, great natural lighting all the way around here. Okay, so you've got this great lighting that just gives this very light sort of feel to the, to the boat. I love the finishes. Look at the nice upholsteries and, and fabrics they're using just to give it that, that extra touch. Obviously, you've got your, your curtains for privacy and privacy. A couple of hatches right above the beds. So if you did want to get uh, some of those trade winds in and not have the air conditioning on, you can just simply open these up and you get a nice flow through 
into the cabin from up there. And as always, you've got your little insect screen if you've got a hatch open, or you've got your privacy, privacy blind as well. And that's on, and that's on both hatches. Um, look at the headroom as well. I'm sort of five, hovering around 5'11". Um, so as you can see, you know, uh, plenty of headroom, which again, you know, doesn't give you any, any feeling of claustrophobia whatsoever. It's, it's huge. Either side of the bed, um, you've got some nice little drawers for, for putting stuff here. Again, plenty of space to, to put phones and, and whatever there. More outlets on both sides. Just moving up in this area, love this. So the thought about this is that this nice little extra berth up here, maybe it's one of the grandkids wants to take a little nap in the afternoon and, and can, uh, can pop up here. Um, but it just gives you an extra area to have a lie down and again right beside the window so you're gonna get a fantastic view of the of the island so love that uh, love that idea more calendar space and then plenty of locker space so some nice drawers in there and some nice drawers in there as well it's behind the door I step up onto the onto the bed there Control for the lights, got your control for the uh, for the air conditioning, and again they got the nice um, in ceiling light. Love the way they've they, they've sort of rounded the finish off here and the in the headliner. It just again it's just real yacht quality feel to it. It's just it's just phenomenal. And again we've got more uh, more more outlets here, and there is some um, subtle lighting down here as well. Um, so uh, can also help you also over here as well move around at night time so just an amazing amazing forward forward uh, forward um, stateroom cabin so let's have a look at the um, the head now so follow me down here all right so i'm in the uh the forward state room head uh which is actually in the, uh, the port side of the um of the boat and again uh, a lot of great room down here first thing you notice look at the head headroom i mean head height 511 so look at what's above me so um nice tall ceiling I like this little feature as well, where you've got a cabinet space, but your mirror comes down and gets you sort of more uh, in front of your face. We've got the blinds here. Let's see, also a couple of side opening window hatches. Um, obviously, be sure to make sure they're shut before you uh, before you take off. You want to get some more ventilation in here too, which I think is great. Nice big working sort of surface area here to put things down on. The raised bowl is beautiful, faucet. We've got some more cupboard space underneath the sink area. So plenty of space to put whatever needs to go in there. As I move back, I'm actually gonna step into the, uh, the shower stall, which again is, you know, just look at the, look at the height, really plenty of room to move around nice shelf here to put the soaps and shampoos and what have you um, you can have the shower actually fixed or if you want you can take it out you can get it out and shower off so really nice and nice and easy everything at a nice level for <coughs> good uh, good access and obviously a nice big sturdy door to set that apart so completely separate shower and toilet area um, which of course you would expect nothing less on a, on a, on a boat like this and then around behind the door here is the uh, the actual toilet remember all the toilets are electric and they're using fresh water so um, helps eliminate any any odors but you got a, a nice little toilet there and then more cabinet space in there as well so again you're never short of places to uh, to put put gear and, and whatever you have so we're now in the the aft cabin still on the uh, starboard side of the boat and again look it's got loads of room nice amount of headroom everything you found in the other uh, forward cabin uh, big window again for natural light uh, over here you've got all your your locker space again that goes the entire length of the uh, of the bed plenty of spots here to plug phones etc into and again it's a queen size and again you know great access you know you're, you're just able to get into bed with uh, with great ease and 
be able to look out and look at those beautiful islands. So um, as we move forward just here, I'll show you, look at that. I mean, great, what a great, what a great, what a great view. Plenty of headroom. Um, you've got your electric head and again, the, the shower stall in there that's uh, completely, completely, uh, completely separate. So uh, um, they've done a great job and just really making a really nice, uh, comfortable, uh, comfortable envi environment. And uh, you know, hatches to let to let uh, breeze in if you uh, if you so wish. So that is the uh, the aft starboard cabin. Let's head down into the uh, the port cabin. Again, nice sturdy handrail there as I come down the stairs. Um, I like the way they've got the uh, the lighting as well, just to, just to help you down. And now we come into this huge spacious cabin. Oh my goodness. I think this is my wife's favorite cabin. I think it was actually. So look at this. I mean, look at this beautiful view. I mean, wow. I mean, that's, that's just letting so much natural light in. I absolutely love it. Look at the headroom you've got. Um, again, a beautiful uh, queen size bed, great access to get onto the bed. The all important outlets, uh, nice lighting package, nice hatch with your, uh, your shades. Um, so you can go privacy if you want to. And uh, I like this as well. I'm going to shut the door here. And this is a nice little feature where basically, look at this. Mama's going to like this. Pop out, sit down, and you've got a nice little vanity there. Put the, put the family jewels in there. So that's a nice feature. And again, you're looking out over this beautiful, beautiful view and looking at all those beautiful islands. I know I keep saying it but just the natural lights phenomenal it really is just feels so so good down here and then we're going to move back and look at this beautiful head in here so again look at that gorgeous big mirror and uh we've got a sink we've got our, our toilet obviously we've got a separate um shower stall and that is a shower with a view look at that you've got your own little designated window there you've got a port should you want to open up and get some uh, get some air in there again i love the height of it look how tall this is so you just you know you can really have a comfortable shower and again totally separate to the head so nothing's going to get wet out there okay folks so here we are on the on, on the flybridge i mean look at this look at the amount of room you've got up here and this is amazing i mean and you're going to be spending a lot of time up and up in this part of the boat. I mean, it's just, uh, wow, it's phenomenal. I mean, you can have a, you've got your own dance floor here. Um, look at the size of this. So let's have a look around, see what we've got going on here. We have obviously helm station area and a beautiful job sort of laying, laying all this out. We've got two really nice, large, comfortable helmsmen and, uh, and side seating here. I know that's always really important. I know that uh, my wife always likes to have dual sitting so we can uh, we can sit next to next to each other. Um, love this sort of pilot chair here as well. Look at that. That's really cool. This nice sort of pilot chair to sit in there. You got some nice armrests. Little footrest comes down there, and here you are sitting up here. Fantastic. Just while we're talking seating areas. Um, Again, a bit of DNA brought across from some of the Aquila brands is this nice area where you can actually sit and you're forward of the, you know, the person driving the boat. So again, it's just sociable. Everybody's together and you're not driving the boat by yourself. You can have someone sitting beside you here. You can have people sitting here and you're, you're all together. So um, I like the way that's been brought across from the, uh, from, from the, other, the other models. Obviously, you got all your, uh, your instrumentation up here. Um, your Volvo Penta, your Raymarine, and uh, the C-Zone again, various breakers. Helm, obviously, VHF, throttle, autopilot, and uh, depth. And you'll have the, uh, sorry, autopilot there, and that's actually the depth, just to be correct. And then you've got your fusion control as well. And down in the islands, they're obviously going to give you a really good detailed briefing on all this. But everything very um, accessible. And then this beautiful, obviously, again, big, you know, glass um, wrap around um, Portuguese flybridge is what they call it. You can actually walk around the front of this, which we'll have a look in, in a moment. But I mean, full protection. So when you're back in here, 
you're not going to get any spray or any rain or anything on you, full, full protection. So great job on that. We've got, again, lots of storage um, underneath the, um, uh, the bench, bench seating area here. We've got more storage underneath this seating area here. This, if you pop these little bolsters down and then bring this forward, obviously you've got seating now where you're, you're facing towards the aft of the boat and obviously it can be part of the, uh, the, the dinette table here as well. And we've got more, more storage underneath here. So it's a nice, nice feature. The wraparound salon area itself, or sorry, the wraparound um, flybridge table area. Um, you've got uh, uh, good seating and also there's underneath all these cushions, there is also uh, uh, storage as well. Big table as well, look at this table. So uh, plenty of room uh, to sit everybody around here in, 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 in great comfort. And even though this is enclosed, obviously the rest is open, so you've just got really nice airflow up here. It's just such a pleasant, pleasant environment. Uh, from a couple of things to point out while I'm sitting down here, again, you've got a couple of opening ports in the main glass. Again, you can get uh, airflow through there. And then four hatches in top of the hard top right above me. Um, all manual, so you can just open those up. And uh, again, if you're sitting out at anchor, you can get a nice lot of airflow through there just to keep everything, everything nice and nice and cool. Beautiful fit and finish. Love that. Places to hold on to as you're moving around the boat. Safety, safety. Just done a really, really nice job. And again, just look at you know, look at the amount of space here as well. Beautiful place to relax. Let that, let that cocktail out. I mean, how cool is this? I'm in the islands, I'm on my flybridge, and look at this. Induction barbecue, induction grill, all nicely laid out. So you can be cooking up here, beautiful airflow as well. Um, nice, nice big surface area for preparing drinks or food. Great sink set up here, nice big sink. Slide across tray, draining, various things, good size faucets. And again, you just pop these back in here and just opens up and gives you a nice lot of surface area to work with. Little area here to, to put whatever needs to go in there. So well thought out. And guess what? More fridges, of course. So here we've got a nice drinks fridge. And on the top here, you've got a Nice little freezer tray, so great, great spot to put all your, all your drinks. And then of course we have the all-important ice maker as well. So you've got an ice maker up here as well. So two great features there. I'm going to close that off and then we'll open this up. And again, look at that, plenty of storage in there to, uh, to put whatever, whatever, whatever you need to. Worth noting, I think, look at the nice high, you know, bow railings. I mean, you feel really safe on the bridge. You feel you're on the bridge, you're in the bridge. Um, and I really think they've done a good job of thinking all that, all that through and usual quality with, uh, you know, uh, Sino Eagle and Aquila, Remax Vacation. She said everything's really nice and sturdy. Great accent lighting up on the, um, up on the hard top. You've obviously got your fusion speakers up there as well. And there's ambient lighting around the seating, so at night time, it's uh, it's just a one, well, night or day, it's a wonderful place to 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 hang out in, and just a huge amount of room, just so much so much room. It's a power cat. What do you expect? So here's what I love also is we're going to go around what they call this uh, Portuguese flybridge. So as we know, enclosed helm area here, and look at this. I can now walk around here, and again, really good handrails. Plenty to hold on to as I come around and I walk around. And now I've got really, really easy, super easy access to the bow of, of the boat. And this was something that was, um, you found on the Aquila 44, the uh, Marine Max Vations uh, uh, 44. And um, it's just very easy to walk down here and get to the other uh, forward part of the boat. So look at this again, this was brought over from the, uh, the Aquila 44 and um, just this really nice, easy, easy access to the bow of the boat. Whether you're going down to lounge on the cushions or whether you're going down to anchor the boat or, or, or dock the boat, but you know, really great, easy access, nice, solid, firm handrail, couple of easy steps down and you're down. 
And well, here we are. One of my favorite spots on the boat. Got these lounges up here. And these actually pop down if you want to and lay flat, but we've got them in the upright position just for literally, like they say, lounging. I mean, what a great place just to, if you're an anchor or if you're just cruising through the islands. I mean, look at that. It's comfy, nice, decent, thick cushions, more handrails. Um, you've also got here as well, nice couple of spots for to put your, your drinks. And also maybe the, you know, the phone can go in there and it's safe because it's, uh, it's not going to pop out. I love the way they finished that in stainless. So really super, super area. And so from this lounging area, we can move on down to this seating area. And again, another area just to sit and watch the beauty of the islands and, and life go by. Nice high back as well. So it's really, really comfy sitting on here. Great access, easy access down as well. Um, so just well, well thought out and uh, um, what, a, what a great area of the boat to, uh, boat to be in. Nice deck area, forward of you here. Got the uh, couple of seats in each of the, uh, the bows, port and starboard. So again, a really nice place just to hang out or if you're just cruising along, um, just get to watch the wheel go by. So note also as well, the nice sort of high rail. So again, you know, you feel safe and secure and, and uh, that's that's really important easy access to cleats got a couple of um, hatches here that go into lockers um, and then obviously up here you've got your uh, your anchoring apparatus so let me just show you that so everything's easy access you've got your windlass um, You've got your anchor, obviously, and uh, like with all vacations, boats, it's uh, automatic. So you've got your remote here. You can stand up out the way and always remember, folks, never get your hands anywhere near that area there. You don't need to. You're up here. You've got the remote. You're good to go. But again, you know, great access, easy to, easy to get to. And as we, as we move back, I think also really important as we move towards the aft of the boat, just uh, again, more cup holders here. You can never have enough of those, can you? Um, again, nice high rail, but again, look at the side decks here and how wide they are, how easy it is to move around this boat. We've just walked effortlessly down from the, uh, from the flybridge onto the forward deck area. Now, as I make my way towards the back of the boat, I mean, you know, it's just so easy with this beautiful wide side deck. Flush mounted hatches. Good, good, solid big handrail here. So, you know, two good points to hang on to as you move back along the boat. And just very, very easy. And then two graceful steps down into the cockpit area. Okay, so last but by no means least, check this cabin out. So we've just come down from the, the cockpit area and um, I'm on the, uh, the port side of the boat, right at the, uh, the aft, and you've got this great concept. It's the, it's the crew cabin and the day head. So um, as you can see, as you come down here, you've got a couple of, couple of berths here as well. And, and the idea is that, you know, if you maybe take a captain with you on, on the charter, that uh, the, uh, the captain can actually sleep in this cabin here. It's totally separate from the rest of the boats. So it really is your own sort of private, private zone but a couple of couple of bunks also double as a place you know some of the kids like like to sleep here and I don't know people have been mess behaving that's maybe where they where they end up as well but two decent berths um great headroom I mean, look at the headroom it's it's it's, it's huge uh, AC down here as well so you got a nice AC vent here nice big locker here and I was just noticing we know what this is right this is the fun stuff the uh the snorkeling gear that you're going to be using down in the islands to look at those beautiful beautiful waters More locker space over here. And that's actually a hanging locker, so you can sort of hang stuff up in there. You've got outlets, um, everything lit. Um, accent lighting down here for coming down at night time. And then here you've got the head around here. Now the idea is that while this you know doubles obviously as the head for the, the, the crew quarters, it also is the, the perfect day head. So 
you don't actually have to go into the main boat you can actually just come straight down here and use this this head so um they've done a great job of this again look at the you know look at the headroom no pun intended um got some lockers behind the mirrors here you've got part of a, a port side uh, a hull window uh, obviously uh, again electric toilets throughout the boat fresh water and you've got your balsa and also a shower now this is considered a wet shower, so the, uh, the shower and the toilet are one, but everything drains down here, and you just wipe everything off when you're finished. But uh, again, you've got a nice area to, uh, to shower, um, if so be it's so, uh, so needed. So that's it, that's the, uh, basically the, um, um, the cruise, uh, cruise quarters. Mm -hmm.